Hello, McDonald's students. It's so good to see you back here in music class. So today we're going to start class by singing a song. And this song is a call and response song. What that means is that I'm going to sing a part, and then you're going to sing it. And then I'm going to sing a part, and then you're going to sing it. It's like repeat after me. Now this song has one other, one other section to it. So it'll start by me singing one line of our book. The other day I met a bear. I'm going to start by saying the other day, and then you're going to repeat the other day. And then I'll say, I met a bear. And you'll repeat, I met a bear. And then I'll say, out in the woods. And you'll repeat that back to me. And then I'll say, away out there. And you'll repeat that back as well. After we've said four lines, we're going to say all four of those lines together. You'll catch on really quickly. Here, let's start from the beginning. My turn, then your turn. The other day, I met a bear out in the woods, away out there. So now we've sang four lines. We're going to sing those four lines together like this. The other day I met a bear out in the woods, away out there. Then it goes back to repeat after me. I looked at him. He looked at me. I sized him up. He sized up me. I looked at him. He looked at me. I sized him up. He sized up me. He said to me, why don't you run? I see you don't have any fun. He said to me, why don't you run? I see you don't have any fun. I said to him, that's a good idea. So come on feet, let's up and fleet. I said to him, that's a good idea. So come on feet, let's up and fleet. And so I ran away from there, but right behind me was that bear. And so I ran away from there, and right behind me was that bear. Oh, what do I see ahead of me? A great big tree. Oh, golly gee, what do I see ahead of me? A great big tree, oh, golly gee. The lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. The lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. And so I jumped into the air. But I missed that branch away up there. And so I jumped into the air. But I missed that branch away up there. Now don't you fret, and don't you frown. Cause I caught that branch on the way back down. Now don't you fret, and don't you frown. Cause I caught that branch on the way back down. This is the end, there is no more. Unless I see that bear once more. This is the end, there is no more. Unless I see that bear once more. Nice job, everyone. Now, there is a version of this song that's actually in Japanese. It's called Mori no Kumusan. And you can, you can look that up if you are interested in learning that one as well.
Next, we're going to practice our rhythms with our rhythm cards. Ready? Ready, go. Ticky, ticky, ta. Ticky, ticky, ta. Ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Ticky, ticky. All right, I'm going to have you guys do them without me. Ready, go. Ready, go. Very nice. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Very nice. Ready, go. All right, I'm going to say this one with you. Ready? Ready, go. Ticky, ticky. Good job. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Did you get the TT at the end? That one's really tricky. It gets me every time. Let's try it one more time. Ready, go. Ticky, ticky, tee, tee. Nice job. Class, if you want to practice more rhythms at home, there's a worksheet that you can find with this week's specialist email. So go ahead and look for that, and you can practice even more rhythms at home. Today, we're going to learn about the four instrument families of the orchestra. We have the woodwinds, the brass, percussion, and string instruments. Each family has many different, uh, different instruments in it, and each of those instruments in the family sound a little bit different. But within the family, there's a lot of things that each instrument has in common. And we're going to talk about the things that they have in common uh, today in our lesson. You're actually going to get to hear me play some instruments, and you're going to get to see some guest teachers play some instruments too. I'm very excited. The first instrument family that we're going to look at today is called the woodwind family. And woodwinds are named woodwinds because most of them started by being made out of wood. Some of them are no longer made out of wood. But all, all woodwinds were either made out of wood or they still have some wood on the instruments. So the other part of woodwind is wind. And in order to make noise on a woodwind instrument, you have to use wind or your breath. The, some of the woodwind instruments that we have are the flute, the oboe, clarinet, bassoon, um, and, a, and saxophone. And these instruments all either were made of wood or have some wood on them. The wood that's still on a woodwind instrument is called a reed. There are two types of reed woodwind instruments. There's single reed, which means there's one reed, and there's double reed, which means there are two reeds. So today I'm gonna to play for you an oboe, and that is called a double reed instrument. And the reason it's called a double reed instrument is that there are two pieces of wood that vibrate against each other that are called the reed, and that's how it makes noise. So you can see on one side, there's one piece of wood, there's one reed, and then if I turn it over, there's a second reed on the other side. And when you play the, the oboe, you put the reed in your mouth and you blow, and the two reeds 
vibrate together, kind of like you're clapping. And that's what makes the noise in the oboe. So when you see me play my oboe later, you'll see that that's how I'm making noise. Now, single reed instruments have just one reed, and that reed will go up against a plastic mouthpiece, and just the one side vibrates, and that's how it makes noise. Now, the other type of woodwind instrument um, is more like a whistle. It's called a flute. And flutes don't have any wood on them anymore, but once upon a time, they used to be made out of wood. Now, they have just this head joint. You blow across this hole here, and your breath spins inside of the instrument to make sort of like a whistling noise like this. So those are our woodwinds, and I'm gonna show you a couple of demonstrations of me playing the flute and of me playing the oboe. Enjoy. The brass instrument family is very similar to the woodwinds in that in order to make noise, you have to blow into them. But unlike the woodwinds, you actually make the vibrations with your own lips. So what you're going to do is you're going to do something called buzzing in order to make sound. And that's where you just buzz your lips together. So brass instruments um, include the trumpet, trombone, euphonium, tuba. French horn, and all of their mouthpieces look very similar. The part that you put your mouth on looks a lot like this, very similar to this shape. And you blow into it, and then that part goes into the instrument. So you can actually play the mouthpiece without the rest of the instrument by buzzing your lips into the mouthpiece like this. And you change how this how the mouthpiece sounds by either buzzing your lips faster or slower. So if you buzz your lips faster, the pitch gets higher. And if you buzz your lips slower, the pitch gets lower. And that's actually how you change notes on the instruments as well. So brass instruments, are also different from woodwinds because most brass instruments only have a couple of keys. And they're actually not keys, they're called valves. And what the valves do is they open up different pieces of pipe in the instrument and they either make the instrument longer or shorter. So if the instrument is longer, it's gonna make a lower noise. And if the instrument is shorter, it's gonna make a higher noise just like with any other instrument.
percussion instruments are any type of instrument that you don't have to blow into or that don't have strings. So any of the instruments that you hit are percussion instruments and any of the instruments that you shake to make noise are, are percussion instruments. The first instrument that I have to show you here is our glockenspiel. And the glockenspiel, to play it, you have a mallet and then you just You just hit the hit the bars and each one is a different size the longest ones or the biggest ones are our lowest notes and the smallest ones the shortest ones are our highest notes and you can actually take your mallet and drag it across the glockenspiel to play a glissando and you can go the other way too makes a very nice sound Another type of percussion instrument is the wood block. Has a nice sound. And then you have the kind that you shake to make noise. So we have our egg shakers, which are kind of like maracas. And we have our tambourines. And there are many other types of, of percussion instruments like drums. There are timpani and kettle drums and snare drums. And then you have other things kind of like the glockenspiel, like the marimba or the xylophone and all sorts of other fun, fun percussion instruments. And what's cool about percussion instruments is if you decide you want to become a percussionist, you learn all of the percussion instruments. So you don't only play one instrument, you play dozens of instruments, which is really, really fun. The last family we're gonna learn about today is the string family. In the string family, you can always tell if it's a string instrument because it has strings. So the way that the string instruments make noise is you either pluck or bow a string and it vibrates and that's what makes the sound. So the bow is that big long piece of wood that you'll see me using with the cello. And to pluck the strings, all you use is one of your fingers to just pull the string away from the instrument. Zin 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 a Violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low, one trombone is playing solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone, no more alone, and one and two-o, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled. Golden yellow joins its fellows, two, now three-o, what a trio. 
Now a mellow friend, the cello, next ex neck extended, bows a hello, end pin set upon the floor. It makes up a quartet, that's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin, zin, zin of violin, stroking strings that come alive, now quintet, let's count them, five. Flute that sends our soul a shiver, flute that slender silver sliver, a place among the set it picks to make a young sextet, that's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet, it's number seven, now septet. Gleeful, bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing, double reading, oboe, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet. That's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down, we're laughing soon. Here, Grumpy, get your place in line and give us a nonet. That's nine. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings, and when it joins the other then, behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall, there on the stage we see them all, the cello, harp, and clarinet, the trumpet whom we've also, also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready. Now, begin! The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come out and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night.